The Lineup Wild High Speed Police Chases, Volume 1. How's it going, guys? Hey, Dennis. Hey, um, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but it sounds like you got a warrant out of Illinois. Okay, you got your ID on you? Sorry? Okay. Do you have anything on you? Okay. Why don't you step out of the car until we can identify you? Officer McCarty politely asks Gilder once again to step out of the vehicle. Hello? You want to step out, man? Yeah, reach. Unbuckle your seatbelt and step out of the vehicle. He patiently waits for Gilder. But instead of stepping out of the car, he pushes the driver up Stop the car, and hops man. behind Stop the, the wheel, car. forcing Stop Officer car. McCarty Stop to draw his weapon. Stop the car! Stop the car! Stop it! Stop the car! Stop the car! Stop the car! Stop it! Officer McCarty is now on the hood of the moving vehicle. Break. This dash cam from another police unit captures the dangerous scene. Put on the brake! Stop the car! Stop the car, man! Jesus! The car races by with Officer McCarty clinging desperately to the hood. Stop the car, man. As Gilder hits the gas. As the car whips around the corner, the pursuit vehicle follows. The whole time, Officer McCarty miraculously hangs on. But when Gilder hits a ditch, McCarty's action hero performance comes to an abrupt and painful end. The trailing police unit is also no match for the ditch getting stopped dead in its tracks as Gilder takes off, leaving both officers behind. I have 1050 in a ditch. I need medics to my location. I have Officer McCarty down. But Officer McCarty isn't concerned about his own well-being. He has one thing on his mind. I'm okay, man. Go get him. I'm all right. Sure? Uh, you good? Go get him. And get him? They did. Police later caught Gilder after he stole a second vehicle in Chicago Heights, Illinois. As for Officer McCarty, he suffered a broken vertebrae when he fell off the speeding car, but earned the respect of all those who saw his actions helping bring the wanted fugitive to justice. Next up, an insane and dangerous police pursuit on the icy streets of Detroit, Michigan. The officer pulls up to a parking space to approach a reportedly stolen vehicle. But then, the driver takes off. And five contact made. They're fleeing. Contact made. Fleeing. Flight on direction. The pig maneuver isn't enough to stop the vehicle. He's coming up to 12 miles now. Despite the bumper hanging off the back of the car and the snowy streets, the driver manages to get back on a less snowy main road where the chase kicks into high gear. But when the vehicle turns off onto a side street, the officer tries again to end the chase. Just when the situation seemed under control, things go sideways as the driver of the stolen vehicle jumps into a police cruiser. Along with the obvious danger, according to police reports, the officer's patrol rifle is in the vehicle lying on the seat, making the situation even more urgent. As the officers desperately attempt to get control of the situation, the suspect takes off. Don't you do it! You're making a big mistake! 
the suspect flies through a suburban neighborhood, showing no signs of slowing down. Go! 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 Finally, another police unit puts their vehicle and their lives at risk to bring the chase to an end. The suspect, 27-year-old Charleston Williams, is now in jail facing nine felonies and one misdemeanor. Next up, we're off to Ocala, Florida, as we follow the police pursuit of 35-year-old Dale Shrewsbury in this vehicle. Miles an hour coming up the baseline, going south on baseline. Kind of going all over the road. Speeds are about 90. We're coming up on some minor vehicle traffic. He allegedly stole this car an hour earlier and refused to pull over. Speeds 48 deaths. And now, the chase is on. Shrewsbury weaves in and out of traffic, but police remain right on his tail, even as he makes a dangerous U-turn. The suspect then takes a different path, going from paved to dirt roads, and eventually no roads. Although it looks like the suspect has gotten away, the police make their way out of the woods and into a suburban Florida backyard. Over there, yard, 3,000 Even with a fence in his way, he stays the course. A metal gate also can't slow him down as he tries slipping away. Back out on the open road, the officer finally puts the vehicle out of commission. Once out of the car, he takes off, but his speed is no match for the appropriately named Jet, the canine officer who finally catches the suspect. That's all for this edition of the lineup. Click the subscription button to be notified about future episodes. Thanks for watching.